Amazing to watch, isn't it? The Road Warriors, Hugo Ull and Sean McKinnon, who geared up and took to the streets for the individual time trials yesterday. And when those wheels stopped spinning, both of the Canadians were on the podium. This is a fast, grueling event. So we're very lucky they're feeling well enough to be with us this morning. Hugo with his gold, congratulations, felicitations Thank à you vous. And Sean with that bronze in your very first individual time trial. Yeah. Hello, nice beginning and congratulations to you as well. You know, let's start our conversation. Look over here on the big screen behind me. We'll show the medal ceremony. Um, to have the two of you sharing the podium, teammates, and I'm sure training partners, and there for this moment as you got your medals and to Hero Canada together. What was that like, Hugo? It was a great feeling, like we worked really hard for this, and uh, like we, ex we did our best like to, to get there, and everything went well. So both of them get there, so it was a fantastic moment for, for them. And Sean did a great race, like he's 19 years old, and he jumped to the podium, so that's fantastic yeah, to have what him is, How does that feel to be on the podium for your first crack at that? It's pretty special, yeah. I, sort of unexpected, so it was definitely the race of my life. It's a bonus medal. He already won a bronze for Team Pursuit on the track, which you're very modestly not bringing in. We're focusing on the road for right now. Well, congratulations, both of you. You go concentrate on, on your race for a minute, and we'll show that as well. So the whole thing with individual time trials, you race yourself, right? You, you, you don't you don't. Have have a sense of what anyone else's time is. So you don't really know, I guess, when you jump on the bike and head out, how you're going to feel. But as I watched and followed your tweets yesterday, you clearly felt really good out there. Yeah, exactly. Right from the start, I, I know that I have a good day. Like, for me, it took about like one or two minutes like to know, like, OK, today's a this good is one. This is going to be good. So yeah. how do you know? You just your, your legs are moving well, you're breathing well, or what are the signs for you? It's more the legs, like, like you you put a good power on and your yes. legs are not hurting, so you say, oh, okay, that's good, that, that's okay, going. Okay. And the okay. first lap, you just cruise, and the second lap, it's like the mental game. You just like push yourself and you say like, I can't give up, give it oh, some more. And... All through the 37 yeah. kilometers, so that's extraordinary. And you, you finished it all with the gold, and you said that was the race of your life. Is that how, is that how you think of it? Yeah, because like I hold the best power in my, I never did, so like I was this my strongest performance. So I yeah, was really glad. Yeah, 45 minutes, 13.4 yeah. seconds. I mean, that's exceptional. Yeah, it was like 50k an hour, like for. Hello, 50k <laughs> an hour. That's what you're driving through the city. I mean, when you think about it in those terms, and you've kept that up for uh, 45 minutes, it's really remarkable. So, Sean, you set this up. I mean, why was this your first? You're kind of interested in exploring this this event in, in road racing. Well, yeah, I, uh, my sort of first and foremost goal was the, uh, the team pursuit on the track. And then so these two road events are just bonus. And so uh, when I got the call up to actually be competing in this, I started focusing a bit, doing some specific training on it. And uh, I guess it really paid off. So. Well, you said, as you described it in your Twitter uh, writings, you just hammered it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, what, is it, what did you feel like? You're much more experienced in that, you know, the, the two laps and that incredible distance. Yeah, yeah, I definitely did it a bit different than Hugo did. I went sort of all out. Uh, on the first lap and then was just hanging on for dear life on the second <laughs> lap, so. <laughs> that's guess, pretty, that's yeah. pretty. And people were concerned because it was tough for you to even stand at the end of <laughs> yeah. the race, wasn't it? I yeah. mean, how do you feel at the end of that, guys? I mean, how, are you just spent completely? Yeah, it's like you just give it everything all there and especially when it's warm, like we don't drink on those efforts, so it's like okay. 45 minutes, so you're just like, oh, try to, get, some to water, break again some and something. put some, some good water down, but uh, yeah. After you all, when you see the result, you're proud of yourself and of course. push your limit. So, of course, yeah. but for were you, did you think you were going to feel that way or that uh, woozy at no, the end? No, I don't no. think. I sort of went to a whole new level of uh, going like deep. So <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was an experience. But here's the thing. You've experienced that so many times before. I mean, you're just back from the Giro d'Italia, correct? Where you do 27 days of races like this. How was that experience for you, Hugo? It was a great experience for me. I think it's helped me a lot here at Pan American Games. Like, I'm stronger, but for sure, we're talking about suffering. So like the Giro was a good experience. And then I pushed my limits. Like, after two days, your, your legs are already hurting. And you're thinking, like, OK, it's now 19 days to go. <laughs> so, yeah, wow. and long stage, like seven, seven uh, hour on the bike, day after days. So really uh, make me stronger. And then that's why I could show yesterday that I step up to another level. You surely did. That is really a, just an incredible feat to be able to accomplish that over the 27 days. As you said, it makes today and yesterday and what's coming uh, like a little toot around the park really is nothing to it. 
Coming up tomorrow for both of you, the road race. Set that up, Sean. How do you think that's going to go? Well, I think uh, we'll go in. Sorry, sort Saturday. Saturday's yeah. the road yes, race, yes. Yeah, we'll go in sort of as a team, and uh, we have a really strong sprinter coming in, Guillaume Boivin. So I'm sure that we'll, uh, the other three of us racing will sort of try to set him up for the win and uh, get another medal for the really successful cycling. It has been an amazing time for the, uh, the cyclists on Team Canada. Anything about the road race you want to add before we go this time? Yeah, it's going to be a special race because we're a small team, four teams, so uh, it's not going to be controlled, and uh, I'm sure uh, we are one team as a favorite, so they're going to look at us. But uh, we oh, have a sure. couple of good cars that we can play, and uh, we're going to be ready. Ooh, it's the strategy in the road race, isn't it, that we always love to see. We'll be paying close attention. I know the people who will be all along that waterfront course who get to see you up close in racing, I know they'll be cheering you on, and that will maybe... Um, ease some of the pain as you go through these long races. Congratulations, you, you go, and congratulations to you, Sean. All the best. Thank Thanks you. so much for coming in, and what great medal success for you. And the rest of the team of the cyclists, what a, what a competition it's been for you. Thank Stay you. with us right here. It is day 13 of Pan Am Games, and our coverage continues on CBC News Network.